Did you know that you can make dynamic charts in Excel that will update in real time? This will surely save you time and hassle. And we can achieve this with Excel's built-in programming language which is Visual Basic for Applications, also known as VBA. With VBA, you can unlock new possibilities and unleash the dynamic potential of Excel charts. Hi there, welcome to Excel Demi, where you can learn to use Excel and solve Excel VBA related problems. I am Ishraq Kader and in today's video, I'll be showing you a detailed guide on how to create a dynamic chart in Excel using VBA. So, let's get started. For this tutorial, I'll be using Microsoft Excel 365. Consider the Stella Electronics financial data, which contains the country, revenue, and earnings column. Here, we want to use this data to create a dynamic chart in Excel using the VBA programming language. To make our chart dynamic, we need to convert our dataset into an Excel table. This way, if we add or remove any data, our chart will update automatically. To create a table, first select from B4 to D9 range, click on the Insert tab, in the Tables section click on Table. You can also use the Ctrl plus T shortcut keys. This brings up the Create Table dialog box. Here, make sure to check My Table Has Headers option. Click on OK. This brings up the Table Design Contextual tab. Here you can apply formatting and table styles to your table. At the top left corner, you'll find the Properties section. Instead of Table 4, I'll give a suitable name, Financial underscore Data. It's important to remember this name since we'll be using it after a short while. Press Enter. Now, I'll enable the Developer tab. Right-click on any of the tabs in the ribbon. Go to Customize the ribbon. This brings up the Excel Options dialog box. Here, I'll check Developer option. Click on OK. Now, our Developer tab is visible. Click on it. At the top left corner, you'll find Visual Basic option. You can also use the Alt plus F11 shortcut keys. Click on it. This opens up the Visual Basic Editor. Click the Insert tab. Select Module. This inserts a Module 1. You can see the Module 1 window appear in the editor. Next, I'll insert the VBA code inside the Module window. You can find this VBA code in the article linked in the description box below. Let's quickly go through how this code works. The VBA macro generates a dynamic clustered column chart using the table that we've defined earlier. In my case, I've named the table Financial Data. You will have to change this name if you have a different name for your table. Using the Add Chart To method, I've set the chart style to default, which takes the value of negative 1. Then I've specified the width height and the position of the chart in the G1 cell reference. Using the width statement, we can control various elements of the chart. For instance, the chart type, chart title, etc. Here I have used a clustered column chart. You can use a different chart type according to your liking. Also, I've entered a suitable name for the chart title, which is Revenue and Earnings by Country. And lastly, I have changed the horizontal axis title to Country. Finally, let's run this macro. You can press the Run button or use the F5 key to execute this macro. I'll click on this button to head back to my spreadsheet. We can see that our column chart has appeared. Now let's test whether our chart is dynamic or not. I'll go to the B10 cell and add another data point. For the country, I'll type France. Press Enter. In the C10 cell, I'll enter a revenue data. Similarly, I'll enter earnings data in the D10 cell. And we can see that our chart has updated automatically to include the data for France. 
In this demonstration, I have shown you a step-by-step -step guide to making a dynamic chart in Excel using VBA. Hopefully, you can apply this knowledge to make your own dynamic chart according to your requirement and convenience. Don't forget to download the practice workbook from the video description. Try it out for yourself. It's a great way to improve your Excel skills. If this video helped you, give it a thumbs up. If you have any queries, suggestions or feedback, leave a comment down below. For more information, you can also visit exceldemy.com. Also, to see more helpful content like this, please consider subscribing to our channel. Hope to see you next time. Bye.